Hello everyone, it's your friendly neighbourhood Budgie and I'm going to be taking a look at Ether 1. Now this is a game I've wanted to play for a while but I haven't had a chance until now so I'm looking forward to taking a look at it and seeing what it's like. I know almost nothing about this and so I'm going to be learning about it as you guys do. So without further ado I'll start. Now I'm not going to be using this with a webcam because I believe that it's a story based game and I don't want to detract from the story that they were trying to make. So here we go. Hey, it's me. Listen, I I'm sorry for the things I said earlier on. It's just... God, I really don't think you should go to that place. I, I, don't, I don't think they care. Not like they should. And before you think it, I know how it feels to want to feel safe, to want more. You know I do, I, but, but... Jesus, do, do you know how they view you? Just another patient to squeeze money out of. Please, don't go tonight. Freaking scared. For you and for me. So the only thing I know about this is that apparently we are somebody that goes into people's minds and helps them deal with their Alzheimer's, I believe. Or just l loss of memory. In the mid 19th century, advances in genetic and psychological sciences led to a series of astounding breakthroughs regarding the human genome. At the forefront of these experiments, the Ishin Initiative discovered and developed new ways of mapping the human mind, expanding the knowledge of our species. Hello, Phyllis. Right. There should be a register on the reception desk. So once you've signed in, grab the key card from the top drawer and head on down. You will need it to gain access to the lower floors. Restoration procedure for patient J N two zero five seven. Will commence shortly. Staff are advised to prepare chambers for initial projection. Well, it seems you best get a move on. There's plenty to do. And for you, plenty to see and discover. I'm going to be guiding you through the process of restoration this evening, and hopefully ensuring that nothing terrible happens to you, or our client. I'm in restoration chamber number three. Now, if you don't mind, would you be a dear and head on down? I'm guessing I have to go down here for now. I do have a key card though, but I just don't know how it works yet. The Restorer. The next step in human evolution, an asset to society and a wonder.
EtherSolution 3.5 suspended due to insufficient data regarding health and safety. Ra ra ratio of positive and negative effects upon consumption is currently 1 and 2. It is worth noting that the current positive effects have shown the intended outcomes of this experiment clearly. Positive effects include a stronger, more defined focus in patients, as well as stronger cognitive skills. Negative effects, however, have shown serious problems to the consumer, in some cases causing further short-term memory loss. Anytime you try to do anything to help people with memory issues, you always end up causing some problem. Hey James, I've totally set up the greatest prank to get McCarthy back this weekend, especially after what he did to my sandwich last week. I found out that he always works late on Saturday evenings. Usually on his own on maintenance within restoration chamber number three. You're not going to believe what I've cooked up. I replaced the fuse in the Rembrandt power box with the wrong type. When McCarthy goes to do the power check on the chair, it's going to make a huge bang. He's going to be scared to death. more keycard panels, I'll just keep going for now. Looks like unless I can work out how these... I might listen to the rest of this message that we had before. Lab one. I think they said test lab three, so Oh I can only carry one thing, I better keep the key card for now. Syringe pliers. That's test lab one, I'll see if there's more around the corner. Don't know what that is. The stores may only carry one item, place keycard in the zone before you pick up the wheel. Okay. May as well close everything wherever I go. Ether Solution 5.1 has shown significant improvements over its predecessors. I think the last one we were looking at was 3.5. There is currently only a 20 to 1 chance that negative and detrimental cognitive effects will impair participants when taken regularly. Pos positive effects include superior long and short term memory, which directly aids in reducing confusion and hysteria. The only major concern so far is how long the effects of the new solution last. A high dosage can have serious effects on the liver and heart, and I fear a long-term subscription would reduce would induce similar problems with impatients. Forgot to pack lunch. This is an empty wheel, so I'm not sure why it was hinting that I need this. If that is what it was hinting. Oh, 
Oh, is that what that screen was before? Projector. Okay. So that's what we were looking at. Uh. Ah, so the wheel goes there. I'm incredibly excited to get started with my new patient. A real chance to explore Morpheus and prove that they're in fact fun. I'm incredibly excited to get started with my new patient. A real chance to explore Morpheus and prove that they're in fact fun. I think that's all I can do in here for now. like my university list. It's one of those games where you just don't want to miss anything so you are now clicking on absolutely everything you can see. The birth of a new era occurred today. Patient Zero, who we've been working with in our projection experiments, has brought forth some very interesting results. Firstly, his ability to communicate telepathically has improved dramatically, although at this point in time, it is akin to a babe's ability to wail at its mother. His telekinetic ability has shown small amounts of improvement. Tiny movements here and there, we even witnessed a box move across the table the other day. Fascinating implications. So there's some sort of telekinesis going on. I may stop reading these out in full. Okay, so it seems that a piece of the patient's mind seems to stay within the restorers after they've finished their job. Sounds like one patient's not having the best luck in the world. Doesn't sound like that's going to work. I still have the keycard, yeah. Um, sometimes these procedures don't, uh, how should I put it, go to plan. But really, there's nothing to see here anyway. Shouldn't you be heading to restoration chamber number three to meet me? Oh, I'd have heard you. I also just found out I can run, so that's nice. Restoration chambers 1 to 3, where I came from in the first place. Whoops. Oh! Anyone who has played this before will be quite annoyed watching this. And that would be restoration chamber 3. 1 and 2 look like they haven't been going so well. Don't know what that does, but not important for now. I'm just doing my job. Beautiful, isn't it? A miracle of the 20th 
century. A window into the minds of others and a tool to cure disease and illness. But it would be nothing without the likes of you. Right. Would you be a dear and help me with the setup? I need the electrical input for the Rembrandt installation rerouting. You can access it from that terminal over there. I guess they mean the opposite terminal. Now, for God's sake, can you not do anything right? It's the 300 amp fuse that you need. It says clearly on the box. So that's that um, prankster that changed the fuse that we were talking about before. Right, now we had a 300 fuse somewhere. One of these two. I'll take that one then. That sounded promising. That sounded daunting. That should do it. Right. Thank you for that. Always nice to get some help around here. Now, if you don't mind, I think it's time to take a seat. And here we go. I can't sit down. Oh, there we go. And here we go. Our client, Jean, is currently in a very delicate state. Our primary focus is to ensure that we clear this area of her mind from the plaque buildup that is causing the disease. In order to do that from within, we're going to need to use her own memories to reinforce the medical treatment she's receiving. Now the plaque they're talking about is a um, protein that is found in Alzheimer's disease that builds up and gets stuck together in big clumps. So it sounds like in this game we've found a way to... Are you ready? I'm as ready as... you didn't really give me a chance to say I'm ready. I'm very claustrophobic. Okay, so the case is, I guess, the middle of the patient's mind. I'm not really sure I quite like the fact that they call it a case, but I guess we don't really have a choice. I can store items, I find. That's good to know. 
T to travel to the caves and back. Oh! Okay, so it wasn't in the case. This is the case. Is this the case? Or is this the case? This must be the case. Our sole purpose this evening is to track the memory and pinpoint its location so we can cleanse it of any disease present. Everything you're seeing in front of you is a visual environment pieced together from our client's subconscious mind. Barren wastelands or an abstract painting reimagined. It's all completely tangible. All I can see are brain scans of tissue degradation confirming my previous diagnosis of dementia. Both are incredibly important if we are to succeed and understand our client's needs. Now, if you just give me a second, I'll have some more details for you. Feel free to explore in the meantime. Hmm. I think she means explore in the dream world, but I just want to make sure I understand the case room before I go off exploring. I have another wheel of this, but I can't seem to plug it in. Probably leave this combination lock here for now. It's worth noting that if you feel an item might be useful later on in your journey, and you have no use for it now, you can always store it in the case and collect it at any time. In that case, Should you want to. Well, I think this is as good a time as any to call it for now. If you are interested in this game and you want to see more of what's in this patient's mind and these beautiful landscapes, uh, let me know by clicking like or dropping a comment and I will make more of these. Let me know also if you want to see me talking through all the audio logs and things I find or whether you would rather just read them yourself and I will get on that. So for now, thank you very much for watching. This has been your friendly neighborhood Budgie playing Ether One. <laughs>